Now, today, um, in our reading from Matthew, Jesus is going to tell a parable, which is like a little story that he uses to teach. And so what we thought we'd do today is we're going to talk through this story with you. And my beautiful assistant, Mrs. Bailey, is going to tell, read the story. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this awesomely created Lego Master Duplo set to act out the story for you. Sound good? Okay. There once was a king. I'm the king. And the king wanted to settle accounts with his servants. Wait, hey, servants, you're going to pay me everything you owe me. Thanks. Off you go. Oh, okay. Oh, here's everything I owe you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh. When he began to settle accounts, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought before him. Oh, no. Uh, uh, you owe me 10,000 talents. That's like 20 years worth of pay. That's like 7,000 days worth of pay. Uh, I don't have that money. What? You don't have it? Well, I'm going to sell you, and I'm going to sell your wife. Oh, no. And I'm going to sell your children. Oh, no, not us too. And I'm going to sell everything you own, including your cows. Moo, oh, no, moo. And your horses. Nay. <laughs> Please be patient with me, and I will pay back everything I owe. Oh. Then the king had compassion. He released him and forgave the debt. Uh... Okay, you don't have to pay. You can go. What? Off you go. Ah, uh, okay then. Pause. How do you feel about that? Yeah. This guy owes like heaps and heaps of money. Like you said, seven over 7,000 days worth of pay. And the king has said, you don't have to pay. He's been kind and merciful to this man. How do you feel about that? Good? Do you reckon that's a good thing for him to do? Is that a nice thing? Yeah? To forgive him and say, you don't have to pay that debt? That's pretty good, isn't it? All right, well, let's keep going in the story. That servant then went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him 100 denarii. Hey, you owe me 100 denarii. Ah. Oh. I do? Yeah, pay it back. Ah, uh, I don't have it. Well, you're gonna pay me back. Oh! Oh, you're choking me. Please, please, be patient. I will pay back everything I owe. No, I'm not being patient. You're gonna pay. Come with me, I'm putting you in jail. Ah, oh, no, not in jail. And stay there until you pay back everything you owe. <laughs> Pause. How do you feel about this? Is this good? Yeah. Has he been forgiving? Yeah. Kind? Merciful? Yeah. Mad? Oh, he's not very kind at all, is he? Other servants saw what had happened and they were deeply distressed. Oh. They, they went and reported what they had seen to the king. Oh, dear. Oh, I better go tell the king. Oh. Hey, king. What? What? He did what? Oh, I'm so angry. Oh. After he had summoned him, the king said to him, You wicked servant. You wicked servant. I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Shouldn't you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had mercy on you? Yeah, what she said. And because the king was angry... I'm so angry. He had the man put in jail until he could pay all that he owed. Hey, jailers. yo, Put this guy in jail. Okie dokie. What? No. Come with me. Oh. Ah. Wait, get your hand out. Yeah. And stay in there until you can pay back all you're the king. And that's the end of our story. Now... Stop there, stop, 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 stop. 
you know, Jesus says in the Bible passage that this story is like God and us. God is like the king who has forgiven us for a big, big, big debt that we owe. What do we call that? Sin. We've got sin. And so he has forgiven us because he sent Jesus for us. Now, because he has done that for us, should we be like that servant in the story that then when there was a little thing done to him, he was not forgiving? Should we be like that? No, we shouldn't. Should we forgive because we know that God has forgiven us? Yeah, we should, shouldn't we? God's forgiven us a massive big debt and so we should then forgive others as well. So I'm going to pray for that now and then we will grab our kid sheets. Lord God, thank you so much that you forgive us. Thank you for sending Jesus for us. We pray that as we live as your people, that you would help us to forgive others, knowing that you have forgiven us. Amen. Amen.